must be dealt with accordingly. Why did the policeman arrest Dad? Why have you detained my husband? What are the charges? Don't come back to class! After 25 years, I was fired from my job for being a Baha'i. They tortured him for days, insisting that he recant his faith. The fan threats are increasing. Our lives are in danger. This place was sacred to us. They're coming. There is still no trace of the nine Baha'i leaders who were kidnapped a month ago. They have not even left us a place to bury our dead. They may burn our house, but they cannot destroy our spirit. Must we choose between exile or imprisonment? Must our children suffer the same fate? For the last 30 years, the government has been running an organized campaign to exterminate the Baha'is, and it continues today. No matter how many times we give the highest scores, our application will still be rejected. Once again, the entire leadership has been arrested, and their whereabouts are unknown. The youth were just offering classes to poor kids. How is that anti-state propaganda? If my Baha'i colleagues cannot receive an education, I refuse to have one. stand by while my neighbors are denied basic human rights just because they are Baha'is. These wrongful accusations have to stop. They are innocent citizens of our country. They are our brothers and sisters. We must bear and endure. Have faith, my dear. If we do not speak up on behalf of the Baha'is and break the silence, the government will suffocate them to their very last breath, and we will see horrors we do not wish to see. We cannot let this happen. <laughs>